Okay guys, Akumado Crypto here with another Bitcoin update. So far so good. We are about to, ch to touch the 50% retracement of this whole trend, this whole A wave here as I label it. Okay, this would be our B wave. Okay, and then we would start going down for our C wave. This is the way I am counting it. Okay. Could we reach a bit higher? Okay. Of course, 618, 65. Here we have the, the sweet spot here. That would be 7,500. Okay, it's not impossible for, for a B wave to touch it like the yellow line here. Okay. Imagine like this. Imagine that we go and touch the yellow line here. Isn't it nice? This trend line, yellow trend line here, we would like finish the B wave here and then it would go down. <clears throat> and don't forget, what if we have a formation? I I have I have mentioned it in a in a previous video that we might have a triangle. So we might have an A here, B, C, D. E, and then we go up okay this is one possibility yes uh, the final wave Z here might have uh, might might solve might uh, might not put in a new low okay even though we have all those targets here we have those logo targets here 100% we have Covered this in a previous video. All algo targets that we derived from the swing high to low, swing high to low. We have those algo targets here, and the confluence together with the extension of A through B. We have the wave C here, 100, 127. Even though we have all those infor all this information, we might have a triangle here, an A B C D E pattern here, and then we would break it, like without putting in a new low. It's another possibility. Okay. Um, this is EOS, sorry. Um, weekly chart, yes, we are, we, are ex we are hitting exactly what I said that we would yesterday. Yes, this is what, wave, this is the 55 EMA, you see here? This line here, I draw, I've drawn this line here to show where the 55 EMA would act as a resistance. And that's what we have here. Really nice, isn't it? But I think that we might go a bit higher and then we would go down. Okay, <clears throat> Bitcoin, as I said, uh, this is the hourly chart. As I said yesterday that we would break this trend line and it would touch the 786 of this FIB channel. We have done it, array, nice. Okay, we are about to touch this 127. This is the line that I draw. I, I draw this. I, I draw this target here. Okay, we we have bro we have broken this resistance here, and now we are about to test this resistance here, 137. This resistance here, that's this green line here. We are trying to uh, to challenge this resistance here that has formed based on the TD sequential, okay? This is the line here that is 7100, okay? We tried to break it, but we failed. And this resistance is together with the, is acting as a resistance together with this line here of the 786, okay? And we have this whole box, red box here that I marked as a resistance that is, that I think might be the end point of the, of this wave B. We might go as well at this resistance. Okay? Like I said, we might okay touch the 618, 65, we might go as high as this. This would be 7400. Okay? And it would challenge we would touch this 100 percent line here and then it would go down. So far when we touched the 786 here we have react going down okay all the time now we are kind of lingering around this region you see here 
The 786 tried, tried three times. Rejection, four times. Rejection, rejection, rejection. Not yet here, but I, I, I see that this is going to break the 786, but we are going to, then afterwards, we're going to go down. Okay, definitely. So this is a, a really, a really, uh, this, this is a lot of information together that gives us confidence that this is going to, this is going to nail those targets here, hit those targets here, perhaps. This is this, this is the amount of space that I think Bitcoin has to go up. Okay, in green here. Okay, and then we would go down. So it might go to 7,500, perhaps touching it. Okay, but we need to challenge this resistance first. Okay, so, and this resistance, okay, this is the TD sequential resistance. So let's, uh, let me mark this resistance here for you guys. So you can see it. So we have this resistance here. We haven't challenged it yet. We have touched it actually, right? Let's see, we have touched. So not only the TD sequential is acting as a resistance, but, as well, but also the channel here, 786. So together we have all those, all those uh, piece of information together acting as a uh, confirmation that this is going to be difficult to break. And then we, we would resume the, this correction way now. The targets haven't changed. Okay year down okay guys this is 50% of a wave B okay this is already 50% another confluence we are touching the 50% so we have three pieces of data that is confluent and is giving the same information to us 50% of wave B here plus the the TD sequential resistance here plus the 127 20% of a B C Okay, the extension, Fibonacci extension here. So we have this box here that's going to be really difficult, I think, to break. If we go up, we have the 65618 here resistance together with this resistance here that's uh, a cluster resistance that is historical resistance. Okay, so it's difficult for me to believe in a bull run, of course. It's not going to happen, in my opinion, because we have... All the structure here telling us that we're gonna have this is a B and then we're gonna put in a C or a triangle but after putting B here we are gonna have a, a dump definitely okay this is quite clear for me um, that's it guys and uh, if you enjoy my channel if you enjoy my my videos my content please subscribe and like it Follow us on, follow me on Twitter and follow us actually because we have a, a team at my Discord group. They are awesome, as I have mentioned them. They are, I couldn't wish for better teammates. They are really good. And we are helping each other. We are always learning. If you want to learn together with us, come join us. You have the link in the description. Okay, so we see each other tomorrow. Uh, have a wonderful day. Cheers.